guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a highly requested video on how I grew out my real nails. I've been getting tons of questions from my clients and people on Instagram how I grew out my real nails after having acrylic. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I'll give you a little background. For years I just did gel nail polish on my nails and then Around Halloween, I got this great idea to go and get acrylics because I was doing a Catwoman video and I wanted really long, dark nails. I just walked into a nail salon, got a set of acrylics. That was probably my biggest mistake is because they were a little too thick and they weren't really comfortable on my hands. And so after about like two weeks, I had them taken off and it left my nails a disaster. They were like thin and short. I decided to go in and I talked to somebody that was really good and she put on my nails. It's a dip nail polish, but it coats your nails and it protects it. So I kept that on my nails probably about maybe four months. Two weeks ago, I went in and I had them taken off. So these are my natural nails now and she just did gel manicure on top of it because um, my nails are still a tiny bit on the weak side and so that just really strengthens them. I also find with gel polish it just stays on so much better. So I've always liked gel nail polish. I do have my own kit and if I ever, I, most of the time I go and get them done, but I do have my own kit in case I ever need to touch one up. It depends on what's going on in my life. If I go and get them done or if I do them myself, how busy I am usually. The brand of gel nail polish that I like to use. I usually just buy this at the place that does your nails and it comes with a regular polish and a gel polish and I like to do the regular on my feet and then I can have the matching nails. This brand is D&D. Pretty good luck with this one. So I got these Sugar Bear hair vitamins just as a sample in the mail and they're actually just really easy to take. They're for your hair, but they taste like little gummy bears. And so I've taken these. I don't know if they really work or not, but I figured they can't hurt. And so they're supposed to be for your hair, but pretty much anything that's good for your hair is going to be good for your skin and your nails. Another thing you want to do is try and keep your nails hydrated. Use cuticle oil. I've heard from a lot of people they use coconut oil. I use usually Aquaphor. I'll put it all over my nails at night before I go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the red subscribe button down below. My subscribers mean everything to me. And until next time, I'll see you right back here on my channel.